Okay, so hello everyone. So today I'm going to try the the working around uh, set up from uh, Mr. Don Monte. Uh, I'm sorry if I got your name spelled wrong. And so before I change into to the work around, so that have the three D tracking perform be, uh, behave better than in the firmware 3.0 so I now I would like to demonstrate again so to make sure that the setup is still the 3D is still good so now I'm using the auto area mode so you see that the, the tracking of the 3D 3D tracking is still jumping around like that so tracking loss jumping around okay see and then I change the setting to use 3D tracking both 3D tracking assigned to half and back button okay so so that uh, the 3D tracking both button is quite good but now but it's still jumping around like that in this one so see See, see, so fairly, so so still jumping around. They don't go for what it should be, right? Tracking, so losing it. See, it's jumping around. Nothing like that. I know this setup is not quite good for the anymore the IAS. So now I'm choosing the the setup that we're using dynamic. So I pick the dynamic M. So you can say that just so. it seems like the 3D tracking we have good. You see that even though I move the camera, the tracking is still in the same point. So I focus and then I press the three D tracking. Yeah, it's not behaves too weird. Quite good. Press. I have a. I press the half press lock and then I start three D tracking. So yeah, it's not. So okay. So I turn back the setup to the first setup that is I'm going to use auto area in the half price and 3 tracking see okay see yeah okay so it's still jumping around so okay 3 tracking jumping around okay so now in the same case I switch back to the dynamic area and I put I press 3D tracking it's quite good it doesn't jumping too much at least it's not jumping too much yes see it seems like it's jumping too they just okay so I blur it out I focus okay I blur it out I focus it doesn't jump over just like the previous setting that I'm using the auto area and the 3d tracking and I Blur it out, I press the hard press and then I press 3D tracking and it start tracking. Yeah, it's it seems good. Up down. I okay, say it seems good. Uh okay, so again I move back to uh, auto area and then I didn't use auto area, so I blur it out. I 3D tracking it. See, it's jumping around. See? Okay, so. so yeah. So, in this case, uh, thank you to Mr. Don Monte. Yes, I'm sorry again. Uh, that gave us this uh, setting up to help fixing the problem of the 3D tracking. And what do you think about uh, this setup? Please leave me a comment. 
and thank you for watching and hope everyone enjoy the new firmware 3.0 of the Nikon Z9 as well as uh, I'm hoping that the Nikon will fix this problem for us soon thank you bye bye see you next video